These are the supplies you're gonna need to make this macrame wall hanging with tassels. I'm using this 12 mm cord. You can find this on my website at Homemade Macrame. Using 7 mm natural cotton, a sharp pair of scissors, and a macrame brush. This cord is optional. I'm using this to make the tassel, so all I have to do is cut one piece off for the tassel. But if you don't want to get this and just want the 7 mm, if you just fold this back and forth multiple times, you'll get a thick enough piece of rope and you just comb it all out and it'll be your tassel too. So you can just use this. So I also wanted to show you guys what I'm making this macrame piece on. I'm gonna be making it on this cruelty-free deer antler, but you can also use a piece of driftwood, a wooden dowel, a copper pipe, whichever you prefer. But today I'm making it on this antler. Okay, so I'm gonna start measuring the cord. I'm filling far back so that you guys can see exactly how long I'm getting these pieces. Okay, so this is how I'm going to measure this cord. I'm going to leave my roll on the ground. This is Vienna. She's going to be in and out of my video because mom life. Anyways, measuring this piece of cord, it's going to be five and a half foot long, folded in half. That's going to be 11 foot long total. But this is how I measure. I fold it like this, pull all the cord until I get to the end, fold it again. I'm going to measure and cut 12 pieces of cord, six per side on this antler, and this is how I do it. I just keep turning the cord, hold it all in my hands like this, fold it over like that, fold it again. I'm sure there's better ways to measure cord, but this is just how I do it. Now I'm going to start applying these pieces of cord to this antler. What I want you to do is make sure that the two bottom pieces of cord match up. After you cut them, they, they seem to get a little bit off, so make sure they match up at the bottom. Come back to the top, and then I'm gonna do a lark's head knot. Pull it over like that, and pull it through. Now do that six times on this side and on this side. I'm doing six on each side. And I taped my horn here because it wasn't staying in the place I wanted it to, so there's another good idea. Okay, this is how I'm going to start tying these knots. I'm gonna be tying diagonal clove hitch knot. I'm gonna start with the two very middle pieces of cord. So there's gonna be five pieces of cord on each side and two in the middle. I'm gonna get these two, pull this one over here, grab this one, pull up and through here. Pull it through so it makes a little loop like that. Tighten it to the top and then do that one more time. This rope goes over here and pulled through here, and pull, pull it through, and then tighten it. If you hold this cord tight, you'll get the best look for this knot. Okay, so I just started the middle piece. Now I'm gonna be using these two cords to make my diamond. So I'm gonna start with this cord. I'm gonna do the same thing. This is a diagonal clove hitch knot. This one goes over the top and pulled through, just looped around like that. Always hold this one tight, because if you don't, it'll end up looking something like that, <laughs> you don't want that look. So hold this rope really tight and pull this one tight. This one goes around again, pull it through, and then hold this rope tight right here and tighten that one up like that. So you're gonna do that with all of these pieces of cord. I'm gonna try one more for you so you can catch on. So this one goes over the top like this, and then pull this one through like that, tighten it, do that one more time. Always do it twice with one piece of cord. This goes over the top like that. See how it's just looped over? So, so simple. And then pull it tight. See how I'm starting to make my diamond? So you just keep doing that with the rest of the cords. Okay, so I got that side done. Now I'm gonna start with this side. Remember, this is the cord that I tied over this one, and I'm gonna use this one to tie. 
not this one. I'm using this cord right here because this is just the point of the diamond. So always count your cords. I have six on this side and now I'm gonna be working on with six on this side. So pull this one over and you're gonna be doing the same knot. It's just going the opposite way. So this cord is going to go over this one, pull it through just a little loop and then tighten it. So you just do that again, pull this rope over, goes over like this and pull it through on this side. So it looks like a little loop like that. Always hold this cord tight, tighten it, and now I'm done with one. Let me show you exactly what I do. I hold this finger down right there and pull it through like that. That looks super confusing, so I'm gonna try this again. So this one goes over the top. Pull it through, tighten it. Always keep this cord tight and then continue tying those knots. Okay, so I'm done with that side. Now what I'm gonna do, because I'm going to be putting a tassel in the middle of here and this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grab the middle four cords and tie a square knot. Square knot goes like this. So, this right string folds into a four, this left string goes over it like this, back around and through, pull it through, pull up a little bit and tighten it. I want this knot to be pretty much at the bottom of the diamond so the tassel can go right in the middle. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit, right there. And then this one gets pulled over here. This one goes over like that and pulled through the back. tighten it and then I'm going to continue tying my diamond like this see how this is pretty much at the bottom because my tassel is going to be going through here and like that and hanging right there so I'm going to start tying these diagonal cliff hitch knots now on this side I'm going to start with this cord grab this one this one stays on the top of the cords these cords go wrapped around and pulled through like that pull it tight wrap it around Pull it through, pull it tight. I'm trying to show you the simplest way to do this knot because I know a lot of you guys have a hard time with this one, but always hold this one tight. I think that's like the main trick. Pull this over the top and just pull it down through. Pull it tight and then do that again. Pull it through, tighten it. Hold this cord exactly where you want it to go when you're tightening the knots. So let me just show you, I'm going to grab the bottom of this cord and it just goes around like that. Pull through, tighten it, around like that, pull through, tighten it, one more to go. So simple, I'm going to do the other side. Same knots. Okay, so I'm at the bottom of my diamond and the knot, remember this knot is going to be covered up and there's going to be a tassel right here. And I'm gonna pull this one over the top because I want my diamonds to continue going down like this just because this is the right side. So I want all these to be going down this way. And this is how I'm going to connect them. This cord right here on the bottom. It's gonna go up and through here. Pull it through. Tighten it, it's going around, pull it through. So it's just looping around this one and tighten it. So I finished with one diamond right here. I'm gonna be doing three on this side and then I'm gonna start with three on this side before I connect them together like that.
So now I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on this side, on this side. Pull apart the five cords. Use the exact two pieces in the middle to start doing the exact same thing you did on this side. I'm going to connect these in the middle. I'm going to grab these two cords, pull this one over the top of this one, this one right here. Just throw it around, throw the whole cord around. So you're going to tie a diagonal clove hitch knot on this rope. Hold this one tight right here. This one goes over this one and through. Just looped around again. Pull that tight. Pull that one like that. And now I'm going to start tying diagonal clove hitch knots with all these cords. I'm going to make a diamond right here. Now that I'm finished with that side, I'm going to pull these tight all together to make this diamond a little bit smaller. If not, it's going to just be huge. But I'm going to pull them up, make it really tight so it's like the width of this. Like that. Pull this one down. And then start tying knots on this side all the way down using all these cords. Okay, so now I'm done with this side and I'm going to make this the exact same long as this one. So I'm going to pull it a little bit. So now for this middle piece, you can do whatever design you want using all of these cords. Or you can just tie the same thing, do a square knot towards the bottom and tie it and just put your tassel there. I am, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start doing some square knots. Same knot as this. I'm going to make one right here at the top. And then I'm going to start making them go down on each side. So I'm going to grab the middle, get these two, these two cords right here, and then tie a square knot right here. And then I'm going to go down, grab these two from this knot, two right here, make another one. And then continue doing that until you get down to the last piece of cord. Tighten it and then do the same on this side. So 
So now I'm going to start tying these knots down to complete this diamond. So I'm going to grab these four right here. Then grab these two and these two. Then these two. And then for these four in the middle right here, I'm gonna tie a knot right here like I did on these ones because the tassel is gonna go right in the middle. So I'm going to tie a knot right there, like that, and then continue tying these knots down. So now I'm going to continue tying the diagonal clove hitch knots down here. Pull this one this way and start tying all these knots onto this one using the diagonal clove hitch knot. Okay, so the next step is to trim your macrame piece however short, long you want it. But this is how short I'm going to trim it. So I'm done trimming that and I'm going to put five pieces of cord per line right here and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Depending on how short or long you left your macrame wall hanging, that's how you measure the length of cord to put on the sides. So I'm just coming up to it, I'm going to measure it like right there, and I pull it together like that. And then I'm going to measure five of those per side, so I'm going to be doing ten pieces of cord. So I got my 10 pieces of cord measured out, cutting all the ends. This is just how I cut my cord. I feel like it's faster, so do it however you like. But that's how I do mine. And now I'm going to be applying all these pieces of cord to this macaroni piece on these two sides. I'm going to be doing it two sides at a time and then go up to the top. So I'm going to be doing the same thing to each of these. I'm just going to measure right here, measure up to the last one, however long I need it, depending on how long your macrame piece is. And then I'm going to cut five pieces per side, so it's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, and I'm only going to be doing two right here because it's just a little bit of space, so 24 pieces.
So your final step is to get your 12 mm macrame cord and we're going to be adding tassels to each one of these diamonds. So each tassel is going to be six inches long, that's folded in half. So that's one foot of cord per tassel, but you're folding it in half and it's going to be that long. So cut seven of these. So this is how I'm going to apply each tassel to the macrame piece. So fold it in half so the bottom matches up. So you're gonna put the string through here and through there. So I'm putting it over like this. One side is going to be pulled through here, like that. And then this side is going to be pulled through here. And then pull them tight. So the next thing I'm going to do before I trim these tassels, if you like the way they look without being trimmed, just a little more boho, then you can leave them as they are, but I will be trimming them a little bit. But first I'm going to hang this on the wall just to make sure I get it perfectly straight since I'm working on it now. So this is how I hang my wall hanging. So I'm going to zoom up for you to show you exactly how I hang it from each side. So I'm going to move these over like this, cut a long piece of cord measured like three foot folded and then I'm going to fold it in half, put it through right there and then pull this over like this, pull them through tighten it, pull those two back down and this string is going to come over the top so you're gonna come over here, put it through these two. It's kind of hard to show you with this antler in the way. Apologize about that. So these come through here, come up over the top, and then just tie a knot right here so that it holds it on. So now that I have this macrame piece hanging on the wall, I'm going to comb out these tassels and then I'm going to trim them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I explained well enough how to tie these knots and how to make this macrame piece. If you guys make it, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see. Thank you again for watching.